Hey, welcome to People Think About It. We're here back with you today. We're going to have some hot subjects that we're going to talk about today. We're here with our, back with our co-hosts, Dominique and Mackenzie. And we're going to touch a little on today about love languages. Love languages, you know, that's very interesting to people. So the use today say it's five love languages. And they say the number one is words of affirmation. Number two is quality time. Uh, three is receiving gifts. Four is acts of service. And five is physical touch. So those are the five uh, love languages they say people usually have. And I, I, I often wonder, can people have all five? Can people have one? Can they have two? Um, you know, um, just touching on, on, on that love language thing, you know, when you, when you sit back and you get involved in with your mate and everything like that. And they're saying that you need to recognize your mate's love language. Um, so let's touch on that. Let, let, let's go around the table and see how people feel about, or even if they know their love language. How about you, Miss Dorchell? Do you know your love language? Absolutely. Um, through my journey, I found out that my love language is um, physical touch and words of affirmation. Mm-hmm. Those are my two strengths. <clears throat> okay. Um, mine are, um, well, my first one is is acts of service. Um, and then my second one, um, God, I don't even know. I don't know the second one. But I, I can tell you, my number one is acts of service. Okay. For sure. How about you, Mr. McKenzie? Uh, number one would probably be, it would definitely be physical touch. And the second one would be quality time. Yeah, and I I would probably say mine mine is um, acts of service. I mean, I mean, I like I like making sure that people are all right and if people call on me. I'm I'm, I'm running to go help them. And so I, I would probably say my love language is acts of service, and um, that's pretty much it for me. I'm, I'm like, mm-hmm. I you know, I, I understand when you have a mate. And, like, like you know, your mate is physical touch and stuff like mm-hmm. that. And sometimes with me, I know when it breaks down to it, that physical touch, I have no problem with it. But I think that I deal with a limitation of it because mm-hmm. sometimes people that have that physical touch, they want it all the time. Mm-hmm. And I think because um, I'm acts of service, I'm, 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 I'm running about trying to do different things and going in different directions. And it's almost like I don't have that. That so, time to embrace so you and let hold me, you. Let me let me back you up there. Let me back yeah. you up. So when we talk when we talk about acts of service, acts of service is more so what you need from somebody else, exactly. not what you're doing for others. Right. So, for instance, I have a four year old. So for me, if you can go wash the dishes for me, so I don't have to do it, so I can go do something else, right. that is an act of service. Now that takes it off of my plate. Oh well, babe, I'm gonna go to the grocery store because I know. You doing X, Y, Z. Okay, cool. That's great. I love that. Now I feel like you're paying attention to me. You understand what I need. Um, And so that's more so acts of service. Now, I know you were saying as far as trying to, trying to understand, trying to understand your person's love language and then your love language. I tell anybody. From relationship to relationship, you should always reevaluate yourself when it comes to your love languages because from one situation to the next, things can change. So your love languages will never be the same all the time. Um, so I say always, you know, every maybe even even within your relationship, every few months to a year or something, just take the test. See what they are because they may have changed from when you first took them, when you were first dating. And I tell anybody, take them. For sure, well, take them. Well, then I would honestly say, I don't know what the heck my kids <laughs> did because so, I'm just, like yeah. like I was explaining, having a conversation earlier today, I'm the kind of person that I don't, I don't take what happened in one relationship and bring it to another. Mm-hmm. You know, like uh, some people have bad experiences. Some mm-hmm. people had great experiences. Some people separate with a mutual agreement. Mm-hmm. But sometimes a lot of people bring baggage to a relationship based prior to the relationship they had. Mm-hmm. So when I, when I sit back and, you know, like I said, my experiences, I've been, this, I've been married three times, mm-hmm. but I've never sat back and 
taken the other two situations and said, okay, well, I'm doing this because this would happen in my other marriage, mm-hmm. or I'm acting like this because this because you are giving me a reflection of what happened in my prior marriage. Mm-hmm. But I just think that if you don't, I'm a kind of guy I can let go of the baggage. You know, I I don't. I'm not going to sit there and grasp and hold on to what happened prior to what I got with you because just like you say, I think it's just a totally different experience Mm -hmm. with a new person. Right. You know, and I get what you say about reevaluating your love languages when you're with someone else, Mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I get it. And sometimes, you know, um, just being with a person and and trying to understand their love languages Mm -hmm. and, Wondering if if you're giving that to them what they need, because I mm. think that we all have a selfishness to us to a degree. It's just human nature. Because I think, right, human nature is mm-hmm. self preservation. Right. You know, so you sit back and, you know, um, I know sometimes I struggle with, you know, if you know a lot of people when they're talking about love languages and love and counseling and this, that, and other, and they're always telling you to give, give, give. Mm-hmm. And I often wonder where's the balance because mm-hmm. if you're steady giving, you know, um, it, it, it's like when do you have time to love on you, yourself? Right. I mean, and, and you can do that. There's nothing wrong with that. I think this goes back to one of the episodes we had before where it's like communication is key, right? So, I know my love language is acts of service. The bottom of my list is physical touch. I know that about myself. Now, my my significant other, on the other hand, is the complete opposite. So, how do we balance that, right? Okay. So, <clears throat> how I how I go about it, I'm like, listen. At the beginning, we took this. We took the love language test. Right. I I want to take it. He go. He go to Ling. Go ahead, fill it out. Right. Let me send me a picture. Okay. So now we got something to go off of. Once we get into the relationship. My thing is now, okay, how much do you need? Because I'm going to be honest, I can only give you this much because I'm not, I'm just not that person. I'm not the of all touchy and feely. I'm right. not that person. So if you need that all the time where I've been in relationships and they wanted it all the time and I'm like, I can't, like, I can't, like, you're not, you're not being fair. You know, you're not being fair with me because I just can't give you all of that. I can give you some. Right. You know, and what I is can... that what would that some be? Because you explaining that, that's kinda how I vision it too, that you're dealing with a person that they lovey dovey, feely touchy. Mm-hmm. And like I say, it, it, it's it's okay, but then when you find yourself putting boundaries on it, uh Well, it's not necessarily boundaries. I mean, for one, y'all have to understand each other's love language. And then two, you have I mean, like mine's is active service. Everybody don't want to do for me. You know, I don't want to go wash the dishes. I mean, I know that would be a great thing, but maybe he don't want to wash the dishes. Maybe he don't want to pick the baby up from school. Like, it's not, you know. So he can say, okay, well, I'll, you know, maybe I'll take the baby to school three days out of the week. And then, okay. And for me, that's a, that's good enough. I can say, okay, that's good. Right. Okay. You uh, you need affection? Okay, when we get in the bed, you know, I'm, we're going to play footsies and, you know, I'm going to, you know, <laughs> lick on your face or whatever. And then I'm that's it. I'm done. And then we call it at a night. That's uh, but that's enough. That works for us. We understand each other's boundaries. So again, I think it comes back to knowing yourself and communication. Right. At the end of the day, um, I mean it. That, it works. It works. But the, but but what happens sometimes when a person feels it's not enough, and then you know you're not this physical mm-hmm. touch person, but they like, well, you know, like. Like 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 some people when they when they watch TV or the movies or something like that they want to cuddle and mm-hmm. this and that and the other and and you was like okay well I'll do this but now I just need you to you know give mm-hmm. me my this move over a little you know what I mean <laughs> right I mean because you know you you sitting there looking at some movie that's two three hours long and you want to you know hold me cuddle with me for two three hours right. long and that may be a bit much for me. Right. You know what I mean? It's, it's 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 really really big on you knowing yeah. your partner and, and, having and, a balance. and knowing them and, and mm-hmm. knowing what they how they are their character or whatever. If you don't know them and you trying to still push what you need on them, and you don't you know you're not you're not like say not being fair. You know you're not you don't know that person. If you know that person, you're not going to just. I mean, subconsciously, you're just not yeah, going to do like that. 
just like Dominique just said, mm -hmm. um, you've got to communicate. Like, I can give you what you want, but it's a time limit or a boundary right. to it. It can't, I, I don't want you to feel like you have to, I, you know, if you just touch a Philly person, I don't want you to feel like I'm going to do that all the time. You, you express that right. you're going to tell them, hey, I'm going to give you some footsie <laughs> for a little while and right. I'm going to sleep. Right? And I mean, at the end of the day, you got to kind of, yeah, thing too, you got to communicate like, that. Yeah. I like doing, you know, like, I don't, I don't feel like I'm a person that has to be told to do stuff. So it's like, I, I just do it. Right. right. So I'm sure that, you know, she really likes that. So, but it's just, I'm not doing it because she likes it. I'm just doing it because, I mean, it, the, what the dishes need to be washed or whatever. You know, but I mean, her, you, know, you know, hearing it, it's like, oh, okay. Well, I mean, I remember you doing that. I mean, I was yes. um, I was at church one night a long time ago, and this man said that I, his wife wanted him to go out and get her some ice cream. Mm -hmm. And it was really late. He didn't feel like doing it. But he went out, and he got the mm -hmm. ice cream. and But the reward afterwards, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, she was so excited about him doing it. It made her feel good. Mm -hmm. And he got what he needed after he got that ice cream. You understand know what I'm uh -huh. saying? Uh -huh. So... If your partner's love language is something that you can, like Lamar's, I feel like his love language is as a service. So let's say I, I, I make his plate, mm -hmm. or maybe I'll, you know, clean the house a little bit much more, mm -hmm. you know, tidier or whatever, mm -hmm. because that's what he likes those services. Mm -hmm. And then guess what the reward is? Maybe he may uh, give me an affirmation. Mm -hmm. You know, I, you know, I like today you did. Hey, I like that. And that's words of affirmation, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So it's a balance. Like, okay, you do this, <laughs> then you're going to get that. Well, why, you right. say, so, why, so, why you say he act like that since affirmation? He's like his love language. I think his love language is at service because I tell you, if I if I do something and it's and it's noticeable or if, if there's something that I know that he likes and I go and do it, mm -hmm. then the reward is there. So I feel like that I get well, I get what I need when I give him what he needs. Well, I I, I sat around this table and I, I guess I don't even know what mine is because <laughs> out of these well, look, that's a I, starting I, point. out of these five things, I mean, you know, words of affirmation. I mean, I mean, it's good to hear uh, gratitude and comments sometimes, but. Mm -hmm. I'm so confident within myself. If you if I do something, and you don't praise me. I'm okay with it, you know, mm -hmm. I, and you know. Um, I do like, I, I guess, you know, um, dang, I don't, I don't know. Y'all got to help me out here. Cause I don't, I, I don't do know what mine. I mean, shoot. Yeah. You I did the test. I did. I did. My, it said when I did do that test, it said act of service. Okay. So Darsha is correct. When, that's what she's saying. When she does something without you, without you having to ask her, you see that and you give her what she needs in return, which is a, Oh, thank you. I see that. Okay. So that's that's what a balance is. Now, it should she funny. always have to do something for you in order to receive it? No, um, it, it doesn't. It doesn't really work like that. Okay. It's like, yeah, he can go to the store, but that, I mean, I might not be in his face later. But maybe you know, tomorrow, you know, I might want to hey, well, you know, I, maybe I, I, I want to dance around in the living room. You know, it just. Y'all got a lot going on at y'all house. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, know, you have to. You, you, you really have to. <laughs> Licking on the face and dancing around the living room. <laughs> well, you, I mean, you, you have, you, you, it's, it's not. It's not a playing thing. I mean, you can know your love language and all that stuff, but but you can be creative. At the end of the day, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's it's natural. You know, and we can say all this stuff that we do, but it's natural. It's not like we. She woke up and said, okay, we're going to go dance in the living room. It's nothing <laughs> like that. It's literally, it just happens. And yeah, it, it happens. I think, mm -hmm. I think that's, the, that's the most beautiful part about it is the fact that when the love languages are Man. evolving with each other mm -hmm. and it's the give and the take and it's just happening naturally on its own, Right. then, you know, everybody's happy. You know what right. I mean? That's, that's, that's what you want. You don't want it to be like, okay, it's one I washed side the dishes. Yeah. It was good. I washed the dishes. I washed the car. I got the groceries. I brought the groceries in. I washed your car. I put gas in the car. <laughs> where, where you at? Exactly. You know? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, well, one of the things that says that we must be willing to learn our spouse's primary love language if For we sure. are if we are to be effective communications of love. <clears throat> so so it's saying that your primary love language, mm -hmm. you know. And and, and and knowing that primary love language, you know, like you say, is is not an everyday thing. It's not an every week thing, you mm -hmm. know. 
is is so is it more of an emotional thing when you are with that person and you see that they need one of those five things done? I mean, like for instance, let's say I'm. I mean, I think you used the example to the stream where you said um, I'll be watching a movie for two hours and you want to cuddle, but that's that's way unrealistic. Mm-hmm. Unrealistic. But let's just say we at the mall walk in or we at the park. And you grab my hand, and you mm-hmm. know that physical touch is my thing, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, he grabs my hand. Mm-hmm. Or maybe he hugs me out of the clear blue sky. Mm-hmm. Touch. Just touch me any kind of way. It's mm-hmm. like, oh, my God, that's my love language. So tonight, I'm going to make sure that I give him what he needs, right. whether it's, you know. Making the plate of being the plate. One of the two, right? <laughs> oh, okay. So, 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 so let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you this. Let me let me ask you this. Then, if you know that a person's love language is physical touch, right? mm-hmm. but yet you go to giving them that physical touch mm-hmm. and they resist or they are nonchalant about that physical touch, mm-hmm. then that ain't love know, language. Then but, that that yeah. or or the flip side to that is they felt rejected to the point where now. They don't feel like they're comfortable f- receiving that from you because now they felt rejected over time. They wanted that. They've yearned that. They've needed that. And they've been rejected by you in regards to that. So now it's like, thank you. Well, 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 and, and see, that's the thing that the struggle about relationships because, <laughs> you know, we often are trying to better ourselves as human mm-hmm. beings, as as wives, girlfriends, boyfriends, husbands, mm-hmm. or whatever. And when you get into this love language and you see, okay, my partner's love language is this. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not the greatest at doing this, but now all of a sudden I come this day, I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. And and, and that rejection mode or that standoffish mode happened. It, it almost make you feel like, well, what the heck? Why am I, why am I even going to do it? You know, because but is that it's the supposed to be something. love language, though? That's the question. Is it the primary love? Because here's what I've learned. You can't love people how you love or how you No, I'm them. saying, I'm, what I'm saying is mm-hmm. you're loving them because you know that their love language is physical touch. Okay. You know that their li- love language is affirmation. So mm-hmm. you, you, you praise them for doing whatever they do. And they're looking at you like, please. Right, I feel like that just comes back to feeling yeah. rejected. And yeah. they don't feel it, and, and they don't. Feel, I feel like I see what you're saying. Yeah, and I feel like if that person was rejected, um, and you did like for them, genuinely did it from your heart, I think they'll feel it. And you know, the rejection part that you're talking about is just like that. Uh, I guess it would be in that sense of defense mechanism. Mm-hmm. But if it keeps happening, then you'd be like, oh. Now okay. you gotta say something like, well, "What's yeah. going on?" You know, like I'm, I'm trying to love on you. You know, you, what's up? What's yeah. going on? Let's talk about. Because now yeah. there is some communication that needs to happen. Mm-hmm. That's what's going. On. Something, something, something happened. has happened. And they passed, and it just keep going. Mm-hmm. And now it's like, well, I'm doing this, and now you're not acting like this. Well, what? Well, now you gotta talk about it. I but, think you're but, right, Dominique. It's just like the example you just used. I didn't. I washed the dishes. I, I, I went and got gas in your car. I did this. I did mm-hmm. that. I did that because acid service is your thing. Right. Wait a minute. You're not filling my cup. Right. And then and then all of a sudden, not the pure blue sky is the person want to fill your cup. You're like, what's wrong with you? Yeah. Yeah, but but it's sh- shouldn't uh, shouldn't love language be something that's natural? I mean, it is. If 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 I'm a person that, um, well, let's say not a customer, even not understanding these love languages, mm-hmm. but now all of a sudden I'm starting to grasp hold this thing, you know? Mm-hmm. I, I feel but, like at the flip side, though, some people probably need to stay ignorant to their love language. Say, say that you, again? You need to stay ignorant to it. and I mean, some people, because it's like once you know and you're conscious of something, you can't unknow it. So now you're constantly thinking about it. And it's like if you stay ignorant to it or you, nobody tells you, you are operating in it naturally. You are doing it, and you don't know why, but you're doing it. And well, I, I, I know that I'm doing it because I want my spouse or my mate to be happy. That's why I'm doing it. Right. But but because I'm doing it and wanting my spouse or, or mate to be happy, but I, I, I feel like I'm getting this rejection because maybe to them it's not natural. That's what I'm saying. Discovering your love language is just that. You discover what the love language is for you and that person. Okay. Right. That's it. That's just for you to know. 
And you did, but you operating y'all together. Y'all was already together. Okay, I just go. Okay, we know our love languages are. Okay, cool. See, see, love language to me is almost like it almost fit into like when we talked about soulmates or twin flames or something like that. It it, it seemed like love language fit into that that road of things. I mean, it could have, but I mean, okay. So, and I don't want to get off too too far off on the on the deep end with it, but. When you're dealing with a person, they do have love languages. They also have, well, I guess we could talk about that on another show. But I'm just going to mention anger languages because it's two sides to that, right? So you just really have to get to know your person, um, you know. And if you know their, if you know their anger language, the rejection that you may be feeling is that an anger language for them? A trigger. You know, um, but but have you ever been to the point where they you you can see like you see that your mate is mm-hmm. a little edgy and mm-hmm. you be like you know because I'm I'm a big advocate I can read body language mm-hmm. I can read you don't have to say anything to mm-hmm. me and I can read your body language right and I can tell that something's not right or mm-hmm. you're not feeling this or something's wrong but then when I get to the point of Hey, let's communicate about it. You like, no, I'm all right. I'm all right. When you're really not all right, you know. Oh, so. So you know how people. I mean, but you you yeah, experience no. like that. Mm-hmm. Like you know, you 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 say you know something's not right. Sometimes right. you have to be patient and wait and just wait. Yeah. You, and, yeah. you know, I, I'm a For big sure. person. I'll be very <laughs> honest. I'm a big person. If something's wrong, it's like I want to. What's wrong? What's wrong? Because I want to. You want to fix right it. Now. But I, I am I am learning, and it's not a it's a open, not an overnight process. But I am learning to just be still. Yeah, and yes. that's, that's a good. Because I mean, everybody is not like that. I know for me, I'm a downloader, right? I have to think through everything. Because if not, I'm gonna say the wrong thing, and I know that about myself. I'm gonna say the wrong thing, and for me to not say the wrong thing, just give me a moment. Because I, I do feel away, but you're gonna have to give me a second. Because I don't want to say the wrong, <laughs> I don't right. want to say the wrong and, thing. And I think that's difficult for probably a lot of people because well, you have to be patient. Yeah, uh, communication. Mm-hmm. Uh, w- what I find out in relationships, marriage relationships, the communication. You know, everybody like communicate, communicate. That's what's going to get you through it. But when you're dealing with two different, like I heard a guy say this the other day, it's almost like we live in this world of male and female. Mm. And it's and it's almost like when you take that approach of talking, either you're going to down the male or you're going to down the female, mm. you know, because of the way the the world is designed. You know, it's like, you know, people, women ain't this or, or, or women like men ain't this. Mm. And we take a lot of time just downing each other to the point that that communication is something that's I think that's a very difficult thing for people to learn in a whole because like you said if 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 I'm angry about something give me a minute cuz I'm probably going to say the wrong thing if you don't give me that minute mm-hmm. but then like Mackenzie say I'm the type of person that I want to fix it I want to make it right you know what I mean it, it, if it, it, even if it's something I've done or if it's something that's been nagging you all day long I want to fix it mm-hmm. you know which <laughs> becomes a part of that love language like I know that you're a person that the physical talk or the acts of service. So I want to fix it, you know, and that communication, that's where the breakdown come in at because, you know, that, that's a difficult thing. I mean, thing. But it comes with learning though. You just, you really have to know yourself and you have to know that person. I mean, I don't, I don't feel like that per se is, has anything to do with the love languages. It's about how you feel with that person. Do you feel like it's willing to be talked about or communicated? If it's not, whatever. If it is, cool. Give yourself the time. Like I said, I'm a person. I need my time. I can't. Don't rush me because I have to make sure what I'm saying makes sense for the both of us. I need to make sure you understand what I'm saying because I'm not going to say it again. So give me that time to, to get it downloaded so I can say, okay, see, this is how I felt. Right, right, and I and I and I get that and because you, you only can, only thing you can do is respect that. And if you feel like you're gonna keep pressing me, I'm now I'm gonna just say what I want to say. Now I'm just. Now it's not good. You know? Yeah, because I mean, and I and I think that's <laughs> not good. That's that's the part where I'm saying the struggle come in with communicating because you're 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 trying to 
It's, it's a struggle. It's, it's a struggle it becomes, for you to change your habits. I mean, I have my way that I did things prior to us getting together. She has her way where she did things. And <clears throat> I've said several times, and it's not something that's easily done. It's easy to say it, but it's not easy to do. And it's, as a union, you have to move different together. Mm-hmm. And whatever you was doing before, it worked when you was by yourself. As you said, self-preservation, right? But when you go and be with somebody else, you're going to have to change the way you move. Okay. I, I can't just want to fix it. I want to talk about it right now. Okay, let's use, let's use this d- dynamic out there. Just like uh, Dominique just said. Dominique just said, well, I don't care what's going on. You're going to give me some time to process and to think about it, right? Okay, but then you may be a person that, well, I want to fix it, right? So I want to I, I want to know right I want to right right now. So is it always has to be done the way you want it to be done? That hey, you got to always give me a minute. Not at all. I mean, it, let me say this: it depends on the situation. Because mm-hmm. I mean, some things will come up like vomit. Others will not. Others need time because I know I have when I'm saying things, and I know I'm not the nicest with my words. I do cut deep. So I make sure that what I'm saying is not hurting somebody else. But I'm I'm getting my point across. Now, again, some things come up like vomit. You want to fix it today? We can fix it right now. <laughs> and that it just depends on the situation. Um, that's the best way for me to put it. Yeah, yeah, because you have to be careful what you ask for. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I, and I understand so that. Bad, you know, you can get in that hot seat real quick. <laughs> you know, but it, it's, it's like, you know, sometimes... It always has to be done the way one person wants it to be done. You know. No, it doesn't. That, I you mean, know. that's my point. No, it doesn't. It depends on the situation. Right. If I know for myself, if I know that this can be something that may hurt the other person. And like I said, my tongue is razor blades. I know my words cut. So I That's try, that gift y'all have. Listen, so I, you know, I try to manage that. I try to, you know, uh, don't say that like that. Don't, and this is why I say don't, well, it was wrong, was wrong. Let me finish. Let me just, let me just do, can, let's fix it. Let, give me a second. Let me put it on. Let me, let me first calm down. Cause if I'm upset, I'm not calm. I'm not in that state of just being like, okay, this was the problem. Let's go ahead and fix it. I'm not there. I'm, I'm a monster and I can admit that. I can admit that. Again, some things will come up. You want to, okay, you want to fix it? Let me tell you what it is. And just blah, and it is, there it is. Right. There you have it. Mm. So, no, it doesn't always have, and, and then some things aren't as grand where I need to download everything either. It could be something like, yeah, but, you know, we were supposed to do this, and, and but you said this, and we did this. Okay, this is how I felt, because now I felt a little bit upset. So, no, it doesn't always take all the time. It just depends on what the situation is. Uh, and everybody I, might not be built to do that because it takes patience. Number one, it takes a lot of patience. I mean, and, <laughs> and we can piggyback on what we talked about, about healing and the mm-hmm. mindset, um, life coaching, the healing, mm-hmm. um, and, you know, waiting for somebody to become 100, which will probably never be that person. Right. Mm-hmm. Nobody's going to be 100. Mm-hmm. So... It's very good that you know who you are, mm-hmm. and you can say, "Okay, you gonna have to give me a minute." Because <laughs> if you don't give me a minute, we gonna it's gonna be right. We gonna be pumping up in here, right? right? So, it's getting to know who you are, basically, mm-hmm. and then also your partner knows who you are. Mm-hmm. So if your partner goes, "Okay, she said I need a minute. Mm-hmm. Let me give it to her," because last time I didn't right. give her a minute, and man, man it was I, crazy. And that's 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 the other part to it too. You. You you have you want to, you have the way that you want to do it, but I feel like oh somebody say you know if you love me you'll do this whatever, and <clears throat> it's, it's it's like you know if you love that person if you really value trying to get to the bottom of what it is you will try it their way or whatever you will yeah. have that patience to do that because it's it's like you is it that important. Yeah. That you really want to start that fire? Or yeah, can yeah. you just go sit down and watch a movie? Yeah. Go eat some popcorn, go chill for a second. Yeah, yeah. And then she'll come back Like, around. for instance, if there's something that I don't like, like, there's certain things that I just, that irritates me, right? Mm. So instead of me saying, well, why don't you, can you, why don't you just, you know, whatever that is. Mm-hmm. 
just say, you know what, I'll go and watch a movie, give me some popcorn, make it my me time, let that other person do whatever the heck they want to do. Mm-hmm. Because if I ignite, come on, I need you to be with me. I want you to, I want us to do this together, but that person wants to do this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's all they want to do. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you know what, instead of having a fight, I'll just do me. Mm-hmm. Right? And that just solves the whole problem. Because Does you're not it? trying, yeah. Because you're not trying to start it. It started. You don't want to be confrontational, no. But I feel like I, I, my biggest thing is, are you getting enough from me? That's the question I, I have to ask. Are you getting enough from me? Because if you're not, where are you getting it from? <laughs> where are you getting it from? If I don't feel like you're getting enough from me, I'm getting, I'm not getting enough from you. Then where is the enough going? Yeah. That's a good, very well, good well, point. I mean, Valid. you know, and I guess that goes back to knowing your your, your partner as well, um, because I, I, a lot of guys don't need a lot. To be honest, a lot of guys don't need a lot, mm-hmm. and I think that sometimes women overprocess that we need a lot. Um, you know, like when you when you sit down and you know, like. Honestly, women women are probably better communicators than men when it comes to relationships. Mm-hmm. You know, they're probably better communicating, probably better organizers, probably structure things better. And we don't need a lot. But then when they bring that to us and we get to that point, man, she's nagging me again. All I want to do is sit here and watch this game. That's all I want to do. I don't care about this. I don't care about that because that's, what's, that's not important to me at the present time, right? Mm-hmm. And then it goes back to, like you were saying, and knowing your mate that, you know, like, you're big sports. That that guy's a big sports person. It's mm-hmm. like, okay, well, he's watching this game. I'm, I'm not going to sit back and start asking all these questions and do you want to do this and do that at the time mm-hmm. because I think that's that's going to come to an explosion, mm-hmm. you know. So is is I mean, can uh, we talk about it during the commercial? Uh, no, that is not allowed. No, because if you talk about it to the commercial, it's going to leak into the game, so, and I don't want I don't want to talk about it with during you, the commercial. I don't want to work like what, that. You know what? If if you if you that's set right. back and if you set back and you need a minute when I'm watching this game, I need a minute. Let me watch my game. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then you know it, it's it's almost like okay, you say I need a minute. Your your minute. That's that's up to you when you're ready to deal with that. Right. I don't know whether that minute is a minute. I don't know whether that minute is 30 minutes. I don't know whether that minute is 24 hours. I don't know what that minute is, but I know when you say give me a minute, when you're ready to talk, you're going to come to me and talk. Mm-hmm. I do know that. Right. So just like I'm saying you ask to give you a minute, well, if I give you your minute, and if and then on the other hand, if you got something or we got something that's going on, you know that I'm watching sports, and I like, you know, let's wait till the game over. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, not this not is, no, a, is this a situation where y'all are have, uh, is angry? Well, no, no, I'm not general? saying it's just about anything. It oh, could be oh, like just in general. Just in general, it's like you might, if it, you know. It just could be anything okay, yeah, in general. Okay, yeah, I mean, respectfully, you take you know, your time. Like, I'll shut everybody out and go upstairs and journal. You know, Leave it's just alone. like, but don't don't say, well, it's a commercial. Let me say what I got. No, nah, the game is on, you know? I, I might have to disagree with you more. I feel like if it is, if it is serious. Well, just period. I'm not going to put anything over my partner, especially if this is something that she finally ready to come talk. I mean, I could be doing anything. I could be doing something with the camera. If she's actually ready to talk, I'm going to stop what I'm doing and I'm going to talk to her. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to give her that time because she's ready to So what, what about if you need a minute? What about the minute you need? I don't care. I want to know. No, no, what I'm saying know. is, no, that's oh, what I'm for saying. Yourself personally, what, what about, for, the, minute what about you the minute you need? Not, not what she need, the minute you need. Oh, he get all the minutes he need. I'm good. I'm ready to talk. <laughs> No, just in general, though, like mm. as far as like giving time, because mm. I mean, I'm a space person, so mm. I already know he got more than enough space because I'm always somewhere off in a corner by okay. myself. So mm. it's never a time. If anything, he's like, oh, it's not enough time we spend together because you want to be by yourself. But I am a space person. OK, Dominique. Dominique, you open up some worms, <laughs> a whole can, a whole can. So mm. Previously, you said mm-hmm. if that person is not giving you that time, then mm-hmm. where's that time going? So you say, okay, well, I can go off on my time, mm-hmm. but 
What am I? What is, what is when he? I'm playing my Nintendo. I'm, I'm watching YouTube. Right. I'm, I'm doing something with the camera. I mean, I'm on the internet looking at stuff. I mean, this is I, I got stuff to do. It's just you know, um, I, would I be rather hanging out with her? Yeah, but you know, I know how she is. So it's just like I can do other stuff. I don't. It's not no. It's not a situation. So do you guys? Way. Do you guys make time for each other some kind of way, or do you have a date night? Or I mean, what? How do you guys oh, schedule yeah, your for time? Sure. Tried to do that. It's, well, with a four year old and yeah. uh, you know, not too many uh, you know, babysitters, we you know, we will find time yeah. to actually go out on dates. Mm -hmm. Yes. It kinda of spontaneous. And know? even at night, once we put the baby to sleep, we'll come downstairs, have a glass of wine, we'll talk mm -hmm. and you know, we we'll dance around the kitchen. Oh yeah, dance around. <laughs> yep, we do. And I mean, but that's fun. That works for us. You right. know, we come down and we have dinner with each other and it's just us. Um you know, one thing I never want to, I never want to do is forget how to love each other. That's one thing that I just want. And I just had this conversation with my best friend. I was like, you know, y'all have three kids. Y'all have to learn how to love each other. Still. I totally so agree. What, so what if there's a time in your relationship mm -hmm. where the person is, you doing whatever, you play Nintendo or whatever, you doing mm -hmm. your, you know, you surfing the internet mm -hmm. and you feel like, man, I just need, I wish that he oh, would just spend just... more time with me because I really need that. But guess what? He don't want that from me because he got his own Oh, no. Nah. See, I'm going in. It's intercepting all of that. I'm right here. <laughs> hey, I'm here. I'm showing up. I, my personality is very strong and when I come through, I'm coming through and he just... There's a hey. lot of there's a lot of layers to like <laughs> trying to put her yeah. on paper and say, okay, this didn't no, it's not gonna work because okay, you got that down now. Turn the page and we on the back and the right. point I do this too and it's, and I oh, think it works. It's so so you know. Nah. I think I mean, it works I, because there is no rejection. If <laughs> I was to come and stand in front of him while he on that Nintendo, everything stops. Whatever he got going on, is he gonna put it down, throw it under, put it in the trash can, throw it outside? So if one person is in one room and another person mm -hmm. in another room doing whatever they want to do, mm -hmm. but one person is their love language is, you know, physical touch or whatever, just having some kind of some mm -hmm. kind of presence in that person's life, mm -hmm. then do you feel like that person is being starved from that? And then, like you said, in their can of worms, like, okay, so if, if that person ain't giving me time, I know when I get to work, I'm getting some time from my friends or I'm getting a time from this person or, you know what, now this other person's in my life now that I can suck all the life out of that person because I ain't getting that at home. Is that can that possibly happen? That's communication. You need to open your mouth and yes. say can that it you happen? are not yes. getting it. It can happen, yes. Mm -hmm. Cause now you feel like you're not getting enough where you are. And now now you now you have you have problems. Cause this is where we start to build the emotional quote unquote emotional cheating. Because you're lacking something at home that you feel like you now have to go get from other places, other people, whatever. Um before it even get to that point, I need to have a conversation. Now, if you don't hear me once I say it, then don't say nothing to me because me and my work boyfriend, we about to go go to lunch because at least he want to sit across from me and talk about, you know, his five kids and his wife. And, hey, that's what it Don't say nothing because I've already had this conversation with you. you you've rejected me. You haven't heard me or vice versa. So, I mean, does that mean, oh, we about to go lay down with each other? No, not at all. But I feel like it's, yeah, it can happen. Yeah. See, see, I mean, and I'm sitting here listening to everybody's, uh, you know, analogy of love languages and things of that nature. And one thing is, is that when, you know, you can ask all these questions about what this happened, if this person do this and this person to do that. But it, it, it appears to me, and this is just my vision, it boils down to one person. And it's, it's basically that one person vision that um, if if I feel like I'm giving, I'm giving, but you mm -hmm. still feel like you're not get, getting enough, you know what I mean? No matter how much we communicate, no matter how much I give of myself, no matter how much I give myself to you, it still may not never be enough. enough. <laughs> and it boils down to, well, uh, well, I need this. Well, I'm giving this the best I know how. You know, or <laughs> I need my space. Well, I'm giving you your space. You know, mm -hmm. it, it it's just like it almost boils down to one Maybe person. Maybe you're just not vision. that person. For that, I mean, now you just now 
that's the question on the table. Are you really the person for me? Are you, it, it, you know, to a certain extent, maybe you're just not my person. And if that's the case, then we need to figure something out. That's how I feel. Either we're going to work on it. Or yeah, we're we going to work on it, or, or we're just not, not going to work because, on it. Because, like, in, in, that, in that scenario, um, you know, it's like, is, is the time, is whatever your love language is, to what you get, is it enough? Because for me, it's almost like, I appreciate it more when it does happen, as opposed to a previous relationship where I just get 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 get. When it's like you you it happens sp- spontaneously, whatever, and I do something sp- spontaneous, her and we it it, it seems like it's like it's it's appreciated more okay. when it when it happens. You know, like some like like something is exclusive. Okay, you know so now I got I have a direct question for you because you said your love language is physical touch. Mm-hmm. Do you ever feel like you're getting enough? Do you ever feel like you're getting enough? Yeah. Tell the truth. Don't lie. Shame with No, it. no. Seriously, no. <laughs> because for me, it's just like, there's some things that has happened in this relationship, and it makes me look back at my previous relationship and wonder if that person really cared about me. Your previous person, relationship. If that person really was trying see, to get the know And so she's tapping into his, her love, his love language. So, so now he getting so, it. He so so, so it, it goes sort of back to what Dominic and I said in the beginning of this conversation. That when you bring your pride into your existing relationship, right? Then it's almost like a comparison. No, no. I, don't think, I don't think that's how he's saying that. No. He's saying that like... Man, you know, I my 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 current girl knows my love language and she's doing it. Okay, Whereas but but, my, but, then, past, but, but my, then when when, when he said past. physical touch and then my question is if your language like like and let's be transparent here, is like you say your love language is physical <laughs> trust, but at times you feel like no matter how much I do it, you're still not getting enough. I, so, I, I like so, you, so, you, you so, haven't communicated you, you, that yet. You're thinking about it, you, you, that's why I said. Well, you better always be thinking. But you, well, don't I mean, ever put no, your mind no, to the no, side. No, 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 no. Communicated that. I would say, for one, you have to first have a safe space. Now, I was gonna say this for another day, but it kind of all falls in together. The reason why we do the things that we do is because we feel safe with each other. I don't feel like he's attacking me. He doesn't feel like I'm attacking him. We are safe with each other. I can say whatever comes to my mind. He can do the same thing. We feel that safe with each other. Right. I don't feel like he's going to yell at me. I don't think he's going to hit you know, I know he's not going to hit me. He's not trying to control my thoughts or my tongue or none of that stuff. It's like I feel Did comfortable you? with just being who I am yeah. authentically me. Yeah. So when I'm coming to him and I'm saying, give me a minute, babe, because I don't want to talk about that right now. Or, give me my space because I just need to go journal. Or, I just need to go just, whatever, get on TikTok and do a dance. It's okay because I know he's not coming for me if I'm not. He's not going to say, you ain't touched me today. Ugh. He's not going to do that to me. Um, and I've experienced what that feels like in a relationship. Oh, you just don't touch me. You don't touch me. You didn't tell my mother. All kind of stuff. It's like, dang. You know, why are you doing so much so to to what to his point, not necessarily bringing in the old relationship, but looking at it and being like, "Ooh, you know, this is this is enlightening. This is refreshing. Yes. You know, I feel good. I yeah. feel safe. I feel like I can trust you with my mm-hmm. feelings and my emotions, mm-hmm. and you're not just going blow up on me or make me feel bad for fit being human." Because I can honestly say that I can be a chatty Kathy, right? Mm. So I can go to work and be chatty, chatty, chatty all day. And people come and talk to me and we chatting it up. Mm. Then I come home and it's like, oh, man, guess what happened to me today? I had to get it. I had to get this done and it took this long. Mm. But I know that he don't want all that. Mm. So it's like, let me just go on upstairs and just be me mm. until I can chat to the people who want to hear me chat. Right? right. So at the end of the day, it's like, um... I'll walk downstairs and say, you want some water? Because I know his, his love language is acts and services. Mm. So, I mean, I might go get a bottle of water. It's like, hey, do you like? would you like a bottle of water? Mm. And it's like, yes or no, right? Mm. So it's like, okay, I filled his cup. But he likes that acts of service type thing. Let him do that. Mm. But if I want to do something that I like or, oh, man, you're being too loud. Don't shell, calm down. Don't shell. That's too much. Uh, you don't, uh-uh. <laughs> Shut it down. And you don't feel like. Sometimes you just, mm-hmm. I, I personally, sometimes I just don't feel like I can be you. 
Sometimes you can. I, I always say, "Be you." I'm gonna be me, though. That's that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I I, I can honestly sit here today and say that, you know, um, I've learned a lot sitting here at this table today about relationship, communication, and you know, love languages and things like that. And I, I would always say, I, I would say to anybody, I'm never gonna stop you from being you, mm-hmm. but you're not gonna stop me from being me either. Okay. And and it takes it takes a lot of communication, and, and, and I think that's that's one of the things that we do understand that it takes a lot of communication, no matter what relationship you're in, and no matter who you're in a relationship with, it takes a lot of communication. But I feel yeah, that, and I feel like you also, as much as we say, oh, you're not going. This is who I am. This is who I'm. Who I am. At some point, you have to be like, okay, yeah, that is who I am. But do I love this person enough to be like? You seem real firm on that. They one, need yeah. more, you know. Real. I'm gonna be me. I'm gonna do it. You know, and it's okay. If doing you, know? you is is, I'm gonna say hurt the other person, but if, if doing you is 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 becoming a detriment to your relationship, then yeah, you need to stop and look in the mirror and say to yourself, "Is it that serious? What am I trying to hold on to that I did prior to the relationship that is so important to me?" That I'm gonna keep doing it, knowing that it's not conducive to this relationship. It's not. Uh-huh. It's not. It's not plug. It doesn't plug in. It's no plug for it. Well, I'm the kind of guy. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. Whatever relationship I've been in in the past, or, or, or who I've been dealing with, I don't resurface that. They gone. They gone. That's. Well, yeah, no, that's just. Like, that's not. just. No, I'm, I'm saying that's just my mindset. Well, not the resurfacing, but I'm no. just saying, like, at some point in a relationship, whether you like it or not, if you love that person enough, you do make those changes. And, and, that's and, how I feel. And you I do. totally get that. And what I'm saying to, I guess what I'm saying is, is that you can love that person and try to do those things, but you're only going to do it to the best of your ability that you know how to do in, in, in the framework of, Okay, I know this person's love language is physical touch. I'm going to try to do that. And it may not be as once as that. I know this person's love language is affirmation. Okay, I'm going to try to do that. I know that this person's love language is quality time. I'm going to try. But I only can do it to the best of my ability. It may, it may, not, it may not be enough for them. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying, I am doing it. Mm-hmm. And, and, and sometimes... People could want it so much that you you honestly I'm not giving them what they want because how much they want it or how much they need it, but yet you're saying I'm 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 in tune to you. I'm I'm listening to what you're saying. I'm communicating with you. I'm conversating, but my conversation may not be long and drawn out. My, my I might not I might not give you. Uh, affirmation on everything you do or whatever, but when I when I'm I'm, I'm trying to do it to the best of my ability, mm-hmm. and I think that so sometimes so. people do things to the best of their ability. You know, it's just like I mean, I'm gonna let you speak. It's just like somebody said to me, like you can take a child, right? You could have three children, mm-hmm. and people say I love all my children the same. I I I, de- I beg to differ on that because each mm-hmm. child needs something different, right? right? So when you when you're saying that. And one child comes home that's a straight A student. Another child comes home that's an A and B. And this other child comes home in C and D. But that C and D child may be putting in just as much effort as the A and B, but that's their capabilities. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying to you when you're talking these love languages is saying, hey, I'm giving you these things that you need or you desire to have, but I'm doing it to my capabilities. And it may not be good enough for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's not to say that this person is not doing it. Well, I, I, and what I was going to say was, my question to you would be, are you able to, or would you be willing to evolve? Well, that's what I'm saying. It, it, I, if, the, if I am evolving, if I'm doing it the best I know how to do it, if I'm doing it, well, then no, I no, feel no. like... Well, no, it's, you, it's a, that's, a, that's, that's a conundrum right there. You can't say I'm evolving and I'm doing the best. Well, I if I'm stepping out of the zone that I'm... If I'm stepping out of the zone that I'm comfortable... Uh, doing, then I'm evolving because I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone. Okay. So if I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone because I want to see my mate 
happy. I want to. I want to give it this make it desires like of this love language. I'm stepping outside my comfort zone. Does it, does it feel, feel like, like a, a chore? Right. It yeah. sounds. It, it, yeah, it sounds sound like a job. Yeah. I know it could be just cause the way you sound, but I'm just saying <laughs> it sounds. Like, yeah, I'm outside of my comfort zone. No, I'm doing because this. Be, I, I, and I can say, and I'm gonna be personal with me because sometimes I know that I'm giving, I'm giving, and sometimes it feels like it's never enough with me now. When 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 I when when I feel like because naturally who I am I'm a giver mm-hmm. I'm I'm gonna do whatever I got to do to make sure you are right I will sacrifice me for you mm-hmm. you know because that's that's just who I am I'm 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 a nurturer at heart but it may not be the way you perceive it. Mm-hmm. But I am a nurturer. I'm going to always make sure you are right. I'm going to put you before I put myself mm-hmm. in some cases. Mm-hmm. But it's not about anger. It's not about a job. It's about I feel like I'm doing the best I can. You I know, mean, I'm doing better because I, I, I got to also, with me, I got to also know to love me because a lot of people lose themselves trying to always love and please the other person or what they want and they lose themselves and when that relationship don't work out or they separate or something then the person angry for no reason but you're angry because you did it to yourself mm-hmm. because well, be a you, you, thing. You, the same but, but you it, it's in. not but in real life it's always not mutual in real life we, a I, I, I deal with I deal and I see things from a realistic standpoint and we can set up here and cosmetic put things together all we want but realistically, is a lot of people out here, and statistics say it, that a lot of people out here don't love themselves, man. They don't know themselves. That's why they don't love themselves. But that love doesn't mean that you're not... I feel like, yes, you should love yourself, but at the end of the day, loving the person that you're supposed to be with should not be a chore. I guess that's my thing. It's like, yes, I know what my love language is. He knows what mine is. And we know this. Now, how we decide to work that out with each other is how we work it out. And we still have a great relationship. It's not like, oh, when I go look on his face, oh, God, this is what I got to do right now. It's not like that. It, <laughs> no. just, <laughs> it just happens. It's like, I'm excited. Right. Hey, hey, but, you know? but you're doing... That's because you're expressing. I just feel like it's a, it's right. a natural thing. So, 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 when I'm saying it, I get that. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not saying that I don't get the clarity on that. Mm-hmm. I do get the clarity on that. But what I'm saying is just like I use the example of those kids. Mm-hmm. Guess what? That that DNC student, they doing the best that they can. They they mm-hmm. doing the same thing that A and B but student are they do. Though? Yeah. Yeah, right. because I can't guess say, what? I, Those no, because the A and B, the A and B may not go to tutoring, but this one right here, because this is not your strong suit, you need to go to tutoring. So no, you're not doing what the well, A and B student is no, doing. I, 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 I mean, you can have your opinion on that. No, I, I'm just I, saying, I totally you can't disagree with that. Like that child is because not everybody something. in the real world, everybody's not at the same level. No, they're not. But, but that means you need to put in more work. Not saying that you're trying to be the next person, but because I'm not getting the A's and the B's, and I'm getting the, the B, the B minuses in the C's, I may need to go to tutoring in science and math because, you know, Christy and Kaylee, they got it. I don't have it. I don't have that. And it's okay. And what if they I never get it? What if they never well, get it? Well, then they got special needs at that point. They're, they're in a whole... That's really? A, that's Dude, a, I, that's no, I don't think space. it's... I don't think it's special needs. I, I don't think at that point in time it's special needs. I just think you think they're just not getting it. They, they, they probably not get, but that's the why? space. But why? That's the space that they're in because. But now we that's that, why. that that may be their learning capability. I feel uh, right. Like so that puts them and white, into it's a lot of black and white, and there is some gray area in that scenario that you that you presenting to us. There's a gray area there. There's a lot of gray area there between your black and your white. This kid got it. This kid don't. There's gray area. Okay, That's the part I'm, some, get, I'm digging in the grades because I'm like, and I'm usually a real black and white kind of person. You know, it's, yeah, a, but, it's an in or out, a yes or no. But I know it's a maybes in between. But I guess all in all to say, I think at the end of the day, and I, and I truly feel like you just really have to be in love with that person. You really mm-hmm. just got to love them and want to be successful in your relationship. That And then those changes naturally come. You're willing to 
go above and beyond and not do some of the things that maybe did worked in the past or whatever. Like, and I'm not saying bringing your past experience into your new relationship, but I look at my relationships in the past was all the time and I'd be like, dang, yeah. you know, just reevaluating and looking yeah. at what I well, have now. Maybe I should look into my past. And we I, talk, I, and we talk I sure about enough don't yeah, care. We, I don't sure we, enough don't, I don't care nothing about my past. Or, or those or Well, those and I'm people. not running away from it. I feel like when you start running, I, I don't, I'm not a runner. I don't talk about mine. I don't have no problem with, with saying what I've been through or expressing that. Or even last, what was it, last week? Last week, I'm, I got my feet up on the sofa. We got a sofa in the office. And I was like, you know, uh, I've heard that I'm insecure. You know, do you think that? And and he and he's very honest. And, I'm, and he's like, no. Um... And so I'm explaining to him why I've been called insecure. I've had significant others where they'll still be conversing, uh, conversating with their exes. And it's not a respectable kind of situation. But now when I find out, now I'm insecure. Well, what do you expect? How am I supposed to feel? If the shoe was on the other foot and you see me kicking with my exes, hey, what you doing? You want to meet up and have drinks? And, I, mm-hmm. and you know, you would feel a way too. You would now be insecure. So, you know, mm-hmm. we, you know, just being able to talk about certain things and just being open and free. Yeah. Um, and I think that's really what it is, just being, having that safe space to feel but, like you can just I, But flourish. another thing, too, I feel like it's mm-hmm. got a lot to do with growth. Even mm-hmm. with kids. Okay, you start off in the kindergarten. You learn mm-hmm. kindergarten. Mm-hmm. Their first grade is going to teach you a little bit about what you learned in kindergarten, mm-hmm. but you're going to learn some more, so mm-hmm. you're growing. So you're going to go to first grade, second grade. Right. They're going to tell you, you're going to be like, Mom, they're teaching me the same thing uh-huh. they taught me in first right. grade. You're going to like, yeah, because it's going to be another step to it. Right. Right? So when you're in a relationship, you're like, okay, I was married before. I know what my pro- my downfalls were. So in this next relationship, mm-hmm. I got to grow. Right. You know, and then I got to grow some more because now I got to learn this new person. Then right. I got to grow some more. So I can't stay stagnant in the same place. Right. I, at some point, you have to evolve. Right. You do. You do. And it's okay to look back. It's not that, oh, no, I don't want to look back. It's like, yeah, I do want to look back because I want to see. Yeah, I ain't listen. I wasn't listening back then. <laughs> I had an attitude problem. <laughs> oh, that, tongue, yeah. that mouth of mine. Ooh. <laughs> you know, but now I know coming into this, I'm like, yeah, you know. Yeah, let me switch it let up. Let me just see something real quick. Let me see. You know, yeah, maybe yeah. this will work this time. <laughs> I've been engaged three times. Let me see. I might get married this time. So, you know, it just, you just, it's okay. It, and you don't and have we to. Have, and we have fun. We have fun. It's, it sounds crazy, but, uh, we, I mean, we we talk. We talk and we we have and a, a there are no and, limits and i think i think that's for the conversation and we have the love languages whatever i feel like there's and we don't missing. even focus I feel on like that there has yeah. to be more because it's like would you say it has to be more than these five love yeah because we'll sit and talk and we'll be fine we can sit and talk for hours and sit around and we get up in the middle like she said we go out at so, night and having some wine and be talking for three four hours <laughs> and go to bed so let me ask you this <laughs> let, let me ask you this question here let me ask you this question here before we get ready to end. Let me ask you this. Uh, do you think that when it comes to the love languages, when you think that it comes to relationships, that sometimes people put us in a box in a frame and we try to live in that to what the world say it should be or how people say it be? Because it's just like you just now set up to say, well, mm-hmm. Through your experience, I hear you feel like it's more than five love mm-hmm. languages because you can set up and just do this, do that, and, Cause and I'm, it has I'm, nothing to do with it. I'm it, looking it. at these five, and we touch all of those at some point, and then it's mm-hmm. just like, so right. then everything is met. So, so, so then that's what I'm saying. One so that's you, more prominent. you, you're, so that's what I'm saying. Do, do you think that we as people, not specifically you guys, mm-hmm. but we as people, do you think that we live in a box to the point we? We live as society say we should live, or we ch- try to love like society say we no, got to love. No, I just feel like these are guidelines. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just like you could just look. You know, mm-hmm. it's a, um, it's like a guide. I don't feel like it's a. This is what you have to do, and this has got to be how this go. No, I don't feel like that. I feel like this is just. Mm-hmm. It just gives you a little surface, and now it makes you think. And me, I'm I'm one of those people. I'm really into all of that spirituality, love languages, all of that. That is my area. I thrive in that. But it helps me understand more. So it's, it's a, it's like, and I hate to compare it to this, but it is like when you want to know about the world and, and stuff like that, you go and read the Bible. So, so, so people, people that say I live by my own rules, 
are they living outside these rules or outside that guideline because they Not choose at all. I mean, to live by their rules? No, nah, because even still, you still going to fit in one of them categories, whether you mm-hmm. like it or not. Right. You're still gonna fit in one of those, mm-hmm. if not all of them, to a certain extent. So no, you're really not playing by your rules. You're just doing it how you just see fit see for you. For you, but no, because at some point you're gonna want somebody to make you feel loved. You're gonna want somebody to touch you and hold you and kiss you and make you feel wanted. No doubt. You know, you're gonna want somebody to say that was a good job. You did that. You're gonna want that. So I mean, really, no, you're not. You're just doing it how you think it works for you right now. Until you experience mm. something else, but you have to experience something else. You got to be willing to experience mm. something else. And, and you know, they those the, whatever your love language does not define you as a person. Right. It's your need. It does not define you, though. I feel like if you say somebody's love language like mine is physical touch, because that defines who it's not. Because there's mm-hmm. other things that I love about her, and there's other things she, that she loves about me, and it has nothing to do with my, my love language. It's just other stuff, and, and and that's a part of it. I would say it's like a a piece, like a, a puzzle piece, whatever. There's so there's so many other pieces to an individual person, and you can sit there and go put pieces together for the rest of your life, and 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 in that, you know, it's a whole other level of love and communication and. Loving that person because you're just continuously pulling their layers back. Yeah. I learn something new almost about, every day. And again, I don't it's a, growth. It's like mm-hmm. you evolving. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, I learned this from Dominique. Oh, my gosh. Or I learned that from mm-hmm. Lamar. I never did that before. Right. Or, you know, he, he's been more patient because I'm patient. Right. Or he's been much more understanding because I'm understanding. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So he's seeing things in a different view or that your partner seeing things mm-hmm. differently than you even would have thought. Right? right. I'm real big on saying, I don't like, I don't like, I don't eat that. I have changed my tune, and now I'm just like, if she say, try this, I just try it. Hey. I just try it. Because it's just That's like. That's good, partner. Hey. I, have definitely, I ain't doing it. I have definitely changed my mind state because I feel like I mean, a lot of stuff yeah. that I try, it's very I actually boxy. like You're it. living under a rock. You're in a box. Like, get out of that. I don't know mm. who you've been dealing with, but this ain't that. So let's try something new. Hey. It's okay to try something new. You're not going to die if you try something new. And uh, that's I ain't going to say that. I didn't seem to be. <laughs> no, just like that. I ain't even going to go there. That's a whole nother <laughs> subject. Um, but. We want to we want to set up here and say that you know, like I say, people think about it as just an opportunity for you to take all that you hear and think about it, process it. Um, you have to do in a circle what works for you. Um, you know, like we say, we talked today about five love languages, and uh, Mackenzie made a good point that that doesn't define who you are or define the things that you do, but is an outline of the journey and the pathway you should take. So we welcome y'all, and we appreciate y'all listening to us. If people think about it, you can contact us at peoplethinkaboutit at gmail.com. You can check out the pod page. Just go to peoplethinkaboutit.com. You on Instagram. Uh, you can check us out on all the social media websites. If you want to be a guest, you can Yeah, if you want to be a guest, just go to our pod page, which you go to peoplethinkaboutit.com and fill out the little form. If you want to donate, you can do that as well. Um, but hopefully you learned what your love languages were today or what some of them are because I'm still working on mine. So we welcome you. We thank you for coming up. People think about it. (laughs)